this is the current situation. Amy's actually editing the video that you all are getting ready to watch. And we found out, I can't even hold my arm up. Can you hold this for a second? We found out that there is more coming on this later. Um, there's no intro to this video. So this is actually the IXCR uh, Indiana Cross Country Series uh, round two, Lee Farms. Um, we didn't, forgot, completely forgot to film an intro. So the next clip you're gonna see is us literally taking off to the starting line. Um, so it's me on the bike number 19, and then Brantley is on uh, the pink and blue bike, Yamaha, it's a YZ250F. And then Brian Grouse, our buddy that's been going to the races with us, he's on the other blue Yamaha. And then uh, Leo uh, Lahneman, it's actually Brantley's buddy, it's actually his first race ever in this race, and he's on a, a Honda. You'll see him going up the hill too. So just wanted to do an intro, and uh, before I say it, before I forget to say it, subscribe to the Bell Life Bangs channel. I um, think you all get a kick out of that. And, uh, of course, subscribe here and then check us out on bellife.com and enjoy the race. YouTube what you think how you feel um, a bit nervous but nervous I'm ready to go ready to twist it back yeah. have fun out there bud good oh, luck yeah. all right Craig let's uh, it. take it away we'll yeah. give him the track description Say hi there, buddy. the well, information's being loaded into the computer right now I asked now, Leo so how he uh, felt he said he was nervous Craig here's the microphone take it away and top 50 overall buddy so we'll see what happens good luck all right uh Say hi, bud. Howdy. You ready? Derek Boyd and Danny Williams, also on row number one, our warriors. They are the men that were in the armed forces. Your policemen, How you your feel? firemen. Feeling good. Say hi. Hey there, there Bell Life. Do your best, bud. Have All a good right. time. Be All careful. Right. God bless it. Hey, buddy.
comes Brantley. Come on, boys! Quick and dead! That was complete today. Here they are afterwards. How'd it go? Huh? You heard me. How'd it go? Uh, not good. Piece of shit bike didn't start on start, but I made it up the second. Pretty well, good. first of all, the piece of shit bike did start. You stalled it. I watched you do it. It's on film. No, it does not. It's on film. Okay. Pull it up. I'll look at it. I'll show okay. you. It I'll show you. Show us it. Seriously, it. I will in a minute. I'm not going to do it right now. It looked like you stalled it to me. I started neutral and then go to first. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't start. Actually, my bike didn't start. I don't know if you've seen me. Did, I did not. I sat there like 30 seconds like a clown. Everybody's going. The bike is going. You know, like, oh. You got an electric start. You ain't got no. It, it wouldn't start. Well, throw it over the hill. Yamaha's are junk. Yeah. Should have bought a KTM, as Justin would say. And I lost the bootstrap. Dang it. Brantley, what's your excuse? You hurt your hand, my butt's hurting. What's wrong now? Uh, I, I, the final lap, I was passing somebody in a rut and I was on the right and they were in the left and then they fell on me and their bars hit my hand and then it, their peg landed on my hand. So it like it was like half the final lap. I Let me see barely, your hand, you got a mark on it? It's red on my knuckle. It doesn't look bad. But the final lap, right I could barely hold in the clutch. It doesn't look bad. Right? So, Where? It doesn't look, that's oh, what I'm okay. saying. Okay. Look Leo, what's your opinion? You want to do it again or do you say hell with it? I'll probably do it again. I'll do it again? Well, Nick, I told you you didn't want that. <laughs> I went over the bars the first lap. You did? You did? Yeah, somebody was in front of me in a rut and they just would not move. And then I went and I had to stop quickly and I... Went. How many times you crash? Huh? How many times you crash? Uh, like twice. And How about you, Justin? Uh, never. Did you didn't I, crash? I didn't crash. Grouse? I think it was three times. Three times. Leo, did you crash? <laughs> well, Leo, we want to let you know we got your last one on film while you stood there and looked around for somebody to help you. And nobody showed up. Where was that? He did the same thing you did on a finish, coming there showing off its crash. Right? I, was not, I was not showing off. Well, it looked no, like you I were. I that first corner. It was like, yeah, that first corner when you first get on the track, and I like, I just, my front tire went oh, right over the berm and it just washed out. And then thing. it took about five minutes before he started. I had double jumped the first set of doubles. You did? Second set, I didn't have enough on. <laughs> did you, you case it? I cased them. Oh, your balls? Uh, yeah. Damn, that's... Like, man. I hate when that happens. 
I forgot to tell you all that, the first lap, it's up to us to pick your line, you know? But normally by the second lap, all the bottlenecks and mud holes, there's people there watching. And normally they'll point, just yell which way, and they'll point you the best line. There's like 100 lines, if you choose the wrong line. Unless I'm standing there, I'm going to point you the worst way yeah, I see. Some of the people there are retarded. <laughs> hey, on the first lap, hey, hey, on the first lap coming in. There's a big hole right there, go that way. Hey, on the first lap coming in, you know how there's two lines? One to go to the first line to the right up the hill, and the second one to go to the the right. So, so the guy when we're coming down there, he's pointing us to go straight. And I, we come out in the field on top of that, and everybody's coming in front of us. I'm like, that's the slow line. So I come around the second time. There's a bike sunk up, sunk up to his uh, peg. It is the faster line. The second line was. So what place did you get? Second, I think. You got second? Yeah. Did you see that? Oh, like, Grouse, what'd you get? I really don't know. You didn't look. Man. Leo, you got any clue? Gluten Brantley? I think it's at seven. But did, did Justin lap you? He's supposed to be huh? Three. See, I told you they screwed up. I, I I told you he wouldn't lap him. There's no way. Justin did, that, did Justin did one more lap than you did. That's just because Leo didn't catch him. He I know. Didn't catch me. That's what it's all about. I don't know. I didn't realize Brantley. You can't. You gotta get this camel back. And you won't pass. This is sweet. I love this thing. The new camel back. You like it? Great. I wasn't uncomfortable at all. All right, y'all, give a big thumbs up and thanks for watching. I know, we gotta still do the results. We gotta figure out. I swear. Look how dirty everybody is. Oh, don't zoom in on me. Well, this is Melissa's son, Gage. I don't know if you've ever been on here before, have you? No, I've never been on here. Never been What's on up, here before. Say, uh, was he, he used to race what, how long ago? A long uh, it's been a little guy. probably 10 years, yeah. 12 but it, years. This give you the fever, you want a new one? You yeah, want a I'm gonna have to get a bike this year. Start racing. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We got empty trailers and everything else. We'll get you right right along with us. Alright, we're at the results. Brian, what'd you get? We got third place, baby. Third place. Okay, let's go to the who would be the next? Brantley or me? Uh, you. Okay, and uh Betsy, I got second. Oh. Out of everybody down here. Out of, I don't know, 40, 40 riders or so. Brantley got. Seventh, how, how far up was the sixth? Where am I at? I don't know, we'll look on here. And then here's overall. Oh, Brian, she hold, look at that. 27th. Damn. And then. Edwardsville, Kentucky. Yeah, there they got it wrong. And then we gotta go back a couple pages from Brantley. Uh, Can you get that real quick? He wasn't yeah. catching you today, was he? Go to, go to 99. There we go. Bradley Bell, that's a cool number, 99. Now, where's yours at? Oh, I'm over here in the 100s. Oh, yeah, and we got to look for, uh, how did he do? Uh, trail rider. Well, we'll look in a second. Uh, right there, Ryan Grouse, 165th. Yeah. How do you do a trail rider? Trail rider. Leo, I'm looking for Leo. Levi Horton. Leo, wow, where he is. What's his last name? Oh, it goes over here. Oh. Leo Lonneman, 37th. Dead last besides being there. Thanks. They did finish. That's all I'm right. got it. He called it that. He said that. We're at about 300 riders in the morning, and I'm not sure about the afternoon, but there's got to be less than half. So it seems like what a lot of people do in this series is is uh, race in the morning, um, no matter how good they are. You know, because technically, if you're a, that much better of a rider, you should be in the B or A class or, you know, in the afternoon, but whatever we won't go there a lot of sandbaggers out there in the morning but uh um but stayed and watched a little bit of the afternoon race and man i tell you what that van adams and jack joy and you know andy shea and all you guys i tell you what they're on a whole nother level but uh still had a good time i ended up second um i stalled i did went back and looked at the footage i did i stalled on the start so so in the middle of washing the bike now, but the Kickstarter, Kickstarter bike actually started up and I stalled it like a clown off the start. You can see on the GoPro footage. So wind of the woods dead last. Um, within like the first three miles of the race on the GoPro, I passed pretty much my whole class. Um, uh, but I couldn't get. I passed second on like the. Uh, like the second to last lap. I think the third lap, it took me to catch second place. And uh, he's pretty cool. He, he said he watches the videos and stuff and he was wearing a GoPro footage, so, or he was wearing a GoPro, so I, I don't know if he'll he'll upload his footage, but um, but I couldn't get to first. First was like, still like 40 seconds ahead of me on the, so he finished about 40 seconds ahead of me. So um, technically if I wouldn't have 
stalled and I wouldn't have got hung up at that first bottleneck. You all see where everybody was stuck. You know, I probably would have had a better chance. But anyways, Brant landed up seventh in his class and I was looking at his times and he was like within seventh to fourth was like like a minute difference. So he was he was right on everybody in his class. And then uh um and then Brian, you guys saw all the results or whatever, but everybody good did good. Leo it's his first race. He said uh, said he liked it, and he's gonna try to do some more this year. And but, anyways, fast forward, get home. Remember the last race? I puked at the at the finish line. Well, this one, we came home, took the footage over to Dad's, and we were watching the GoPro footage. Walked back over. This is Sunday night, and I puked in the front yard. And I tell you what, between indigestion and and puking and my stomach and knots, I didn't. I had a turkey sandwich between. Uh, Sunday, all I ate was a Slim Jim, and that was during the all I had all day was a Slim Jim. Monday, I had a turkey sandwich, uh, and Tuesday, uh, I had to force feed myself Tuesday night to eat anything. So, I don't know what's going on if it's the diet or what, but we're gonna have to figure this uh, whole puking stomach situation out because that's a it freaking shuts me down for like two days when my stomach's a mess. But, anyways, good time. Nobody got hurt. I got a couple little bruises on my uh on my knee and stuff and not too bad and uh didn't really hurt the bike too bad it don't look like but definitely do for some see i'm losing my uh that tire's got three races and a trail ride on it so man i'm blown away with these tires it's those tusk uh t emx 35s or whatever they are 67 bucks for this rear tire and normally like Dunlops, and they're like 120, 130, they're half the price of a, of a expensive tire. So that's why I've been getting these and running them about four races or four rides and, and, uh, and getting new ones. But anyways, I don't know. There's a race this weekend, but, um, the race y'all just saw was the makeup race. So that was Lee Farms. So Icebreaker was the first race of the IXCR series and then Lee Farms, was second well it got postponed and they put it you know for this sunday so we raced it well not this coming weekend but the next weekend is the next ixcr so normally there's about a month break in between I ixcrs but now there's like a a week break so um and you know with me and um uh trey back to work it's it's definitely a lot busier because it you know we gotta if we race on sundays we got to film all of our stuff on Saturdays and it, you know, now it takes about six or seven hours to film everything. So just a little bit busier. So I, I don't know if we're going to go to the, it, it's the GNCC, the Hoosier this weekend. It's in Crawfordsville, Indiana. I'm not sure if we're going to go to that or not, or if we just take the weekend off and then go to the IXCR next weekend. But regardless, you guys will be along the way, but, uh, thank you all a ton. Um, over the past, you know, couple of weeks, everything going on with us, uh, the support has been absolutely amazing. Really appreciate, you know, all of you. And it feels good to know that we can go back to our, you know, our original Bell Life before he was here and everybody's seeming to like that. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna keep doing. But uh, I know there's some people out there that, that really like these racing videos. If you could comment down below, if you still like them, you know, these style vlogs and stuff, and we're gonna keep doing them. We're gonna try to get uh, a GoPro for Brantley to wear on his helmet. So we have two different GoPro angles, but you know how it is. I mean, freaking even used GoPros are 250 bucks. So trying to, I'm trying to find a deal on eBay on a used GoPro. So we got a Hero 11 now. I can't remember what they're up to. It's probably like a 13 or whatever, but anyways, I'm keep rambling. Thank you all the time. We really appreciate you. Subscribe here, subscribe to the Bell Life Bangs, and then uh, check us out on thebelllife.com and love y'all.